so I finally got my seeds from Iowa, from Decorah, Iowa. It's called Seed Savers Exchange. Um, looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited. I ordered it and got here pretty quick, so I'm pretty impressed with them. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what we got. So I got some corn. This one's called Golden Bantam. Um, the I need to look for some more corn. The one that I'm looking for, I think it's called like Peaches and Cream. That's like the really good sweet corn for Iowa. Um, got some cantaloupe. It's called Amish Melon. Got some okra. I haven't had okra for a while, but I always thought it was pretty good, and I hear a lot of good stuff about it, how it's good for digestion and everything. Um, looks like we got some Amish snap peas, so I'll probably either grow those or one of these beans with the corn for my three sisters method. Um, this one's French breakfast radish, which is I think similar or is the same as the one that I've been planting recently. Um, so yeah, I like that. I like I like how it's shaped, and it seems like radishes are one of like the quicker ones that you can grow. Then I got like kind of your normal radish. This one's pink lady slipper. Um, we got some butternut squash, so you can also use this for that for the three sisters method if you want. Um, the only they are sold out of a lot of stuff, which obviously because it's late in the season, but so they didn't have a whole lot of like fruit um, seeds. But I was able to get find this one. It's called Sunberry, which it says prolific bushy plant loaded with small, slightly sweet little blueberries. So I think they're kind of similar to blueberries. We'll try it out. Uh, so I got a whole bunch of different kinds of tomatoes. So Amish paste tomato. So I'll probably use this one for like uh, making spaghetti sauce. Any type of tomato sauces. Then we got black crim. Cherokee purple. I was just looking at like pictures. They're not, I mean, they look kind of similar. Maybe like color-wise. But. And then we got cherry tomatoes, which of course you always have to have cherry tomatoes. Another one. And then we got blacktail mountain watermelon. I got a lot. So, here's some more type of beans. This is pretty neat, like on the back of seed packets, it kind of tells you about where they were able to get the seeds from. Pretty neat. This one apparently is shared by the late Dr. John Weish, sorry if I mispronounced that, of Hugo, Oklahoma. He says his Cherokee ancestors carried this bean over the Trail of Tears from the Smoky Mountains, of Oklahoma, from 1838 to 1839. So, I kind of like getting stuff that has a little bit of a history to it. Um, so here's another kind of snap bean. This one, it says it's best for freezing and canning. I've been looking for canning supplies. I'm probably a little bit late to the game this season, or maybe right now, uh, because everywhere I look online or at the stores, they're, it's all out. Uh, so some broccoli. I all love broccoli. Apparently this one's from, it was brought to America by Italian immigrants. Thank you. Uh, this one's a beet. 
dark red beets. Also great for canning and fresh eating. We'll probably uh, end up getting like a juicer so we can juice some of the vegetables and stuff. Uh, of course, we got some cabbage. This one from the Copenhagen market. I guess that's the variety. It was introduced to the U.S. seed tray before 1950. So, I guess it was over in America by 1909. Pretty cool. <laughs> More carrots. And yeah, I had um, previous carrot ones that I had gotten before. They are like multicolor. You can probably grab them and show you, but. I planted some and they all turned up orange, so I don't know if that, if I randomly picked only the orange ones or what, I don't know. Um, cucumbers. These are also another easy plant to grow. Then I got some pickling cucumbers, because I love pickles and Michael doesn't, but I got those so I can learn how to make pickles. So for some of the herbs, I got cilantro, chamomile, so I can make some tea, some sage, everybody needs a little sage, either for food or sage in your house. <laughs> um, got some lavender. <coughs> pretty impressed with these because they give you pretty good instructions on the back of it. Like how to grow them and everything, where it came from. So I'll probably write them a really good review. Of course I got some basil. Also use that for uh, spaghetti sauce. Got rosemary. We had a rosemary plant in California but it couldn't fit in the car with us so we had to leave it back in California. And then I'm wanting to get more of a variety of mint, but this is what they had. Spearmint. You can make teas, cocktails, everything. Let me go grab my other seats that I have to. These are ones that you just buy like in a regular store, like either Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. Um, I've opened up a few of them just because I had planted some in California before I knew that we were going to be moving a lot sooner than we had planned. So, not sure if I'll be able to use these come next season, but we'll try it. Uh, tomatoes, of course. Um, cat grass. We do plan on hopefully acquiring a couple of the farm kitties to help us out around our little homestead. Um, we're still looking for another puppy dog uh, for a male, but uh, four carrots. I don't know if these are the same. Oh yeah, they're the same. Same variety. <coughs> Green mix. Could probably start those now too. Set that aside. Some sweet pepper. trying to figure out if they're both the same. I don't think 
so this variety I think is called Hale's Best Jumbo and this one's Amish variety <coughs> it's more cucumber I try to grow them out in California they're all right um, but they didn't do so well because I had them in like little containers and the ground was a little bit too rough or too uh, compacted to be able to actually grow some roots into the ground. Uh, and so, oh. so got a couple of artichoke seeds. So probably try those come next season. And these are the ones that have like different color variety ones. Like I said, when I, the ones I had planted, whenever I pulled them up, they they were just regular orange carrots, so I'm not too sure if the multi-variety thing is true on there, but we'll see. Uh, so, at Michael's job in California, um, where he's working as maintenance, there were some orange trees. He had brought like a bunch of oranges home, so I just saved a few of the seeds. I guess I'm not sure if I stored them right or anything. I'll have to research that a little bit better, but we can try and see how it goes. Also have so I have a few different flower varieties. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but we also got some chilies, so we can make some hot sauce. So we got some black eyed Susans, and then I planted some of these already uh, back home in California for Michael's parents, and then I also brought the rest of them here so we could plant them. So California poppies, and then just kind of like a wildflower mix. So my idea is to have also kind of like a flower garden uh, for butterflies to attract butterflies in. Um, bees. Some of the plants, they, they'll do a lot better whenever you have those type of pollinators. Yeah. Oh. And here's a little Charlie.